Hey, I'm uh, Lewis, I'm a project manager here in, in Soho, London. Um, been growing my beer for about two years. Started off as a Movember challenge that never sort of ended really. And yeah, today I'm gonna try and get it chopped off. Alrighty, Lewis, so what are we doing? Uh, getting rid of the majority of the beer. Okay, cool. Go down nice and short. Alright. Um, hopefully about maybe a four or a five with a trimmer. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. And you still want to keep it nice and square? Yeah, I still want to keep it nice and square. Um, keep it here as well, so sort of the shape that's still there. Yeah. Cool. Get rid of the bulk. I mean, what we'll do then is we'll start off with a six and work our way down because you don't want to go straight in because that might be a bit too short. And obviously, how long your beard hair is, you don't want to catch or pull <laughs> and be uncomfortable. And um, with your neckline, we're just going to basically we'll clipper it down short first. We'll clean up your edges and keep it really natural on your neckline as well. Um, with regards to your moustache, what are we doing? Yeah, it's definitely going to have to come down as well. But, yeah. Um, yeah, it's not quite as long as my beard. Yeah, you still want to keep it nice and full, but just clean it. You're not trying to grow it or anything, especially what with it getting so warm out now. Absolutely. We've got one day of summer in London, so you know everyone's going short now. That's it, yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, perfect. Let's, let's have, let's crack on. Because obviously Lewis has got quite a large beard, um, we're going to start off longer and then work our way down. So we're going to start off with the wall um, clippers. We go down to number six, but eventually want to go down to number four through there. So when I'm Flipping. I tend to do it when the clients are sitting upright. So if the clients are sitting back and the hair's all over the face, it's quite uncomfortable. I'm just going down to start with, because that takes less off. Just really start seeing how it's growing. I'm just clippering in all different directions because with the beard hair it grows in all different directions so I go up, down, across, all over really. It's okay because I'm going to clean all this up anyway. So Liz, that's a six. You think you can Want to go a bit shorter, obviously. Yeah. Just want to double check with you first. Bloody hell. <laughs> yeah. So Half a, a bit. That's the thing. So it's good to start off long yeah. to get the clients to feel and just do one side so they can see the difference. Yeah. Maybe go down to just a five then. Just yeah, a bit, cool. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. And then next time you can always go a bit shorter because I suppose the you'll, you'll beard grows quite quickly, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, so we're doing a number five on the beard. And then we'll clean up the edges, and then that should be perfect. As you can see, Liam's got a very wavy beard. It's quite strong in the kinks through there. How's that feeling for you now, Lewis? <laughs> yeah, I was shut for a while and all of a sudden, yeah, there's a face. Yeah, you have a jawline again. I think I look about five years younger. Ah, that's good though, it's still nice and full. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just clean up the edges and we're going to fade all this in because Lewis's hair growth, you can see how this all grows up and this grows down. So what this does, it tends to fold especially in these corner areas which I find is very common for most men's beards how it, the growth pattern this will take up and this grows down so we're going to clean all this up take this in a little bit tighter through there as well okay so I think earlier I called poor Lewis Liam so I do apologize for that in advance <laughs> I don't remember saying it but apologies <laughs> to the YouTube fans <laughs> so you can see we're going to clean up the natural line through here still keep it square you can see Lewis's hair grows up for about here and this is going to fold so we're going to blend that in a little bit later with the clippers. I'm not going to do like a straight line but I'm no. going to fade that in because yeah, otherwise yeah. it will give it will look like a line but without just because your hair grows at such a yeah, kind of split so we'll keep it natural on your neckline. Okay, if you just want to tip your head to the side so we're just going to kind of clean it up through here. Yeah. 
So I'm not going to go into this. I just want to... Because that's kind of too much hair to remove. this I'm just gonna clean all this up with the detailers I do want to fade all this in and then the cheeks again I'm just gonna clean this up I don't want to go too far into this beard line because it's going to take too much hair off through there. I literally just want to kind of clean it up for there, keep it real natural for, for Lewis. So we're literally just going to repeat what we did on the other side because you can still see as well on this side as well, this folds, splits here. So we're just going to keep that very natural. So all this underneath part here, I want to kind of clean up and keep it natural. I don't really want to put a line in because that's going to grow out quicker. So to fade, I'm just going to fade all this neckline in because you can see the way it grows. Mm -hmm. It's going to create a line anyway, but just fading it is just going to kind of soften that area. So when it grows out for Lewis, it'll last longer. Going downward just to catch all the hair because all the hair grows up through here. And then I'm going to go down my zero. Okay, so we're going to clean up the moustache. Don't want to go too short, but short enough so it's out of his way. now is I'm going to just go clean all this underneath bit with my scissors just to give it a nice finish and get any of the other kind of little hairs the clippers couldn't get. So you can still see nice and square. So you can see we just faded it all up for you on your neckline. And you can see as well underneath it's nice and clean through here. If you look straight as well, you can see it's not like you've got any like big kinks or anything, it's just nice and smooth underneath. And then the same on that side as well. It's nice and square. Yeah, no, it's cool. As always, yeah, I'm going to use my favourite Temple Smoke. We're going to use the Beard Balm just to calm it and just put it in there. So rub it in, put it in through the chin and the jawline first. Get it all nice and smooth and whatever's left, just put a little bit on the moustache. Alright, so we did number five on the beard. We just cleaned it all up and kept it nice and square and natural on the lines and the moustache area. Are you happy with that? Okay. Looks good, feels strange, but looks good. <laughs> Thank you. Now that you're done with this video, head over to our shop and treat yourself to some fine beer brand products. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit that button 
and keep on watching some more of our awesome videos.